Hello, this is Carly Franz, and today is Monday, February 25th of 2019. This will be my final video. I am calling for an uprising, and I mean it. Freemasonry is seriously the most vile and salacious secret society to have its poisonous tentacles in almost every faction of society. The police, the FBI, the CIA, all of the alphabet agencies, the corporations, lawyers, doctors, engineers, school teachers, babysitters, they are all in on a big, disgusting, secret society. Freemasonry and Order of the Eastern Star. Nothing will change in this world if nothing happens. And I really believe that there are more good people in this world than evil people. However, it's all of the evil people in this world that run and ruin everything. You want to know why 800,000, this is the official number, 800,000 children go missing every year? It's probably more than a million. It's because the powers that be are trafficking children. It's not some migrant caravan from Mexico. It's not some group of people living in Syria. It's your white collar and blue collar people living in America. And I hate to even call them people because they are less than human and they do not deserve to live. They don't. I'm calling for an uprising on every Masonic temple, Scottish Rite Center, every Masonic lodge, and all of the Freemasons. I am waging a war now because this has to stop. And the only way that it's going to stop is if there's a revolution and it will not be pretty. Mark my words. So as of today, I asked you, take it into your own hands. Do what you can to protect your family and yourself. Do not join Freemasonry, but be sure to harass every Freemason that you see because they deserve it. Freemasonry is a Luciferian doctrine. There is no getting around that. If you're joining Freemasonry, you are well aware of the teachings of Albert Pike you know, this is, this is not secret from people. People join Freemasonry because they need a secret society to protect them from all of the shit that they want to do, especially to children, especially to other human beings. And I know that there has been many, many cover-ups to dismiss all satanic ritual abuse survivors, and it's completely intended. They do not want people to retaliate. They fear it. They don't want people to create an uprising or a revolution. They fear that. Nothing makes these Freemasons and sick Luciferian pedophiles and murderers shiver in their fucking underwear than the thought of someone coming up to their house in the middle of the night, busting in, and giving them justice. I know that speaking out has caused me to lose everything, and I knew this. I knew from the very beginning that the truth does set you free, but it will cost you absolutely everything, except your soul. They can never steal your soul. So to my perpetrators, Dieter Franz, Lindy Franz, Hilmar Franz. If someone doesn't cut you down, God certainly will. To the people who witnessed my abduction and did nothing and have been silent, your inactions are just as bad as their actions. So Charles Hensley and Shelley Hensley, shame on you. Shame on you. 
and to my mother, the cover-up lady, the handler, the woman who works in the darkness behind my back to try to discredit me to anyone who knows me. And yet she comes to all of these people that I know, telling them that she's full of compassion and love and she just loves her daughter. Oh, really? Then how come you um, haven't come to me? It's funny how you're such a narcissistic psychopath that all you care about is saving face. Because you're just a superficial bitch and I've known it my entire life. And to my father, I don't know what the fuck your problem is, Carl Franz. But you're sick too. This is my final video. And I hope that somebody will save it and re-upload it and continue the revolution. Because there's a reason why the FBI doesn't investigate these cases. There's a reason why there is no evidence. Because the people in high places like the CIA, the FBI, and the police department have numerous ways of getting rid of the evidence. Of getting into medical professional fields to dismiss any sort of evidence. Oh yeah. I went to 250 Prospect Place Sharp Coronado Emergency Room on February 11th in the morning. I couldn't control my heart rate. And as soon as I got into the emergency room, it stopped. You know why? Because they have blockers in there. When I asked them to x-ray my arm, they did two x-rays. The top view and a side view. And at first they didn't even want to show me my x-rays. No. I had to ask, can I see them? They wanted me to leave. So the nurse, Nancy, had to leave the emergency room, came back a few minutes later and only showed me one of them. And she would not enlarge it, she would not zoom in on it, and it looked doctored. However, I did find a very long, thick piece of scar tissue on the inside of my arm on the right side of my radius and it lines up exactly with how the instrument was used to put the chip in my arm. I do know that they photoshopped the actual chip out which is small it's like maybe half a centimeter big. So after this I asked her where's the other picture of the x-ray? She didn't know that there were two x-rays taken so she had to leave again, because of course they had to doctor this one as well. They need a little extra time. And when she came back, it was the same thing. She would not enlarge it, she would not zoom in on it. And then she threatened to get a PET team to come pick me up after I refused to get a tetanus shot and a flu shot. Yes. Do not get flu shots. Do not get vaccines. That's what the government wants you to do. But by all means, Keep living with your eyes closed. It's only your own demise and that of the entire world. So with that being said, I'm ending my final message with this. To all of the good people out there who believe in God, who are on the side of good, God gave you free will and righteous anger for a reason. And I suggest that people start utilizing it. I love you all. Thank you. And don't let my message die.